here from NotYourAverageFox.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY lanolin healing salve. This DIY healing salve can be used to treat many different things such as itchy skin, irritated skin uh, from bug bites or um, just anything on the skin that's uncomfortable or cracked, anything that needs healing, then you would use this for and it works really, really well. Um, the ingredients that's in it are all beneficial to the skin. Uh, they all play some part. They're not just there to look pretty. They all have some good purposes. Um, you may have heard of lanolin. Um, if you have breastfed before, then you've probably used this uh, for your nipples. This uh, healing salve cannot be used on the nipples uh, for breastfeeding moms. You do not want a uh, baby to ingest this, so do not, I repeat, do not put this on your nipples. Um, but the lanolin that's used as nipple cream uh, is really good for uh, treating cracked nipples, but it's also good for just treating uh, cracked skin in general. This is the main ingredient along with the beeswax here. Uh, you'll want to make sure to use a medical grade lanolin, something good, uh, not... Um, don't use any cream that just has lanolin in it. You want 100% pure lanolin. And I have this left over from when I was breastfeeding my daughter. So I'm just going to use it today. But I'll link uh, some different ones in the comments below. Anything in this video, if you would like to purchase it, it will be in uh, my Amazon links in the description box below. So you can check that out at the end of the video if you'd like. Um, but we'll go ahead and jump into the recipe. Uh, for this recipe, you're going to need uh, two tablespoons of beeswax and a lanolin, 100% pure lanolin. You're also going to need one tablespoon of coconut oil and cocoa butter. You can also use a shea butter in replace of cocoa butter if you would like or if you only have shea butter on hand, but I just really love the way cocoa butter smells. Since I started using cocoa butter, I can't seem to stop using it, so I do prefer that over shea butter. And last, you're just going to do half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, and then you can add your essential oils. Essential oils are optional, uh, but the three essential oils that I'm choosing today for this recipe are all beneficial for your skin. They aid in healing and relieve an itching and I think they're an important component in this recipe so I do recommend that you use them. This recipe is for an adult so um, if you use this with children you want to dilute it much further. Um, I'll have further details in my blog post in the description if you'd like to check that out for the full recipe then you can. For the adult full version of this recipe, you're going to do 25 drops of the lavender, 20 drops of the tea tree oil, and 15 drops of frankincense. Making this DIY lanolin healing salve is super easy. Um, all you're going to need is like a glass bowl here, and then you're going to need a double boiler, or you can make one uh, yourself just using a pot of boiling water like I am. I'll show you here in a minute when we move over to the stove to make this recipe, uh, but you're just going to put everything in your glass bowl. You're going to measure it out, everything in here except the vitamin E oil and the essential oils. You'll do that last. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and move everything into this glass bowl. Okay, now that we've got everything that needs melted into our glass uh, measuring bowl here, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys over to the stove so we can melt everything together and then we can add the rest of the ingredients. 